Hello, how are you guys doing today? This is Brayton, and today's video is going to be going over 5AR inhibitors. And do they affect your muscle or physique negatively? And affect your strength and or do this or do that when it comes to a physical uh, appearance uh, when it comes to muscle. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be going over stuff like that today. And what DHT does when it comes to playing a role in, you know, your physique. Um, yeah. So first, I'd like to go over dihydrotestosterone, or DHT for short here. It is a byproduct of testosterone typically around one-tenth of what testosterone levels are. Uh, and dihydrotestosterone is very important for fetal development when it comes to males, and especially uh, secondary male characteristics in adolescence and puberty, um, usually for things like the male sex organs, as well as body hair, facial hair, just like secondary male characteristics. Um, so, but after puberty, it seems that dihydrotestosterone may not have too much importance. So an example I'd like to show you guys here is this figure. We have three males that are all genetically related, so they have similar genetics, but two of the males are pseudohermaphrodites, so that means they have 0,5-alpha reductase activity, and that's the one in the center and the one on the left there, while the male all the way to the right has normal DHT and 5-alpha reductase levels, and, well, first thing we can notice is he has a little bit of facial hair, and his hairline is receding a little bit. And then the other two males have seemed to be pretty good hairlines and little to no facial hair. Uh, and that they seem to be a little bit more muscular compared to the male who has, um, you know, normal 5-alpha reductase activity. And so this just kind of shows, there are studies that show that finasteride, a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, and dutasteride can increase uh, serum testosterone levels as well as estradiol levels as well. Since, well, when you have more testosterone, it can convert into estrogen. Um, and so just kind of top it all off here as well. Um, it is a good thing, you know, to have, you know, DHT, especially during puberty for these males, probably the pseudomaphrodites or probably have like micropenises. But, um, you know, it just kind of shows here that testosterone is kind of the main indicator here when it comes to um, just all around muscle. Another example I'd like to show you guys real quick here is Castor Semenya, and she has the 5-alpha reductase inhibiting gene, where she has pretty much zero to none 5-alpha reductase activity in her body whatsoever, so that means pretty much zero DHT, uh, and as you can tell, she's very genetically gifted, and she has a heightened testosterone level uh, due to it, so um, yes, that was just something I'd like to add as well. So the main difference between testosterone and dihydrotestosterone here is, well, testosterone is very anabolic. Well, dihydrotestosterone is very androgenic. So androgenic is very good when it comes to adolescence and when you're developing as your secondary male characteristics as just a male uh, during puberty. But after puberty, it just seems to not be as significant for, you know, DHT becomes paracrine and it doesn't, you know, have as much effect. You know, your penis doesn't keep growing into uh, adulthood comparatively to uh, testosterone, which it maintains an endocrine hormone and maintains an uh, anabolic effect through your entire life. And of course, you know, testosterone levels may decline, but testosterone itself is still anabolic to maintain the muscle and regain muscle uh, in general here. Um, so yeah. Now the 5 alpha reductase enzyme doesn't only just convert testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. There are also other synthesis as well. Things like pregnenolone to allopregnenolone, for example, and a potent neurosteroid for, uh, you know, just well, all around well-being and, you know, anti-anxiety. So, Obviously, when you have 0,5-alpha reductase uh, activity in your body whatsoever, there are a lot of things that are inhibited, and you know some side effects can come along when it comes to things like 5-AR inhibitors, like uh, dutasteride, for example. But there's a couple, there's a couple different types of isoenzymes of 5-AR here. There's not just you know type 2 or type 1. You know, there's also type 3 as well. So, um, for example, finasteride inhibits type 2, which is usually found in things like the scalp here uh, and or the prostate. Um, I'll show a graph here, some other things as well. Well, the type 1 is typically found in things like the brain, but is also found in like liver and, uh, you know, there's a bunch of different tissues here that, you know, different isoforms of 5AR affect. Um, so, for example, if you use a high dose of dutasteride, which inhibit type 1 and type 2, and may type 3 as well, uh, they, you know, there's some side effects that can come from this. And so, obviously, when there's someone like Castor Semenya who has, you know, zero five alpha reductase activity whatsoever she can have some you know some debilitating effects because of it and it's not just the dihydrotestosterone um, that's causing us it's things like allopregnanolone for example i personally have been working out for about like five years now and uh i've been using 5ar inhibitors for about four and uh you know i haven't seen any significant uh degeneration in my physique if anything i've maybe maintained a leaner physique uh you know strength is 
pretty much, of course, when you're leaner, you're not as strong, but, like, of course, my strength hasn't skyrocketed and or, like, dipped, you know, here and there. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I don't personally believe it's going to have an effect on your physique in any negative way, and especially I use something like a high dose of Dutasteride. Uh, so, yeah, it's <laughs> – I uh, for my anecdote, this is where um, I stand here, and I don't – you know, believe that 5AR inhibitors are going to um, negatively affect your strength and or leanness. At the end of the day here, it just kind of shows that dihydrotestosterone does not play a role in uh, actual, you know, muscle leanness, uh, maintaining muscle, gaining muscle, all that. Uh, it's testosterone that really dictates this. And our natural levels of dihydrotestosterone just really don't do much when it comes to, you know, our physique. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, the finasteride and or dutasteride, the 5AR inhibitors, are not going, to, not going to negatively affect your physique. Now, there may be some people who uh, may argue what about the increase of estrogen from the testosterone to estrogen conversion from the 5ARs uh, inhibitors and how they uh, affect your testosterone and estradiol levels. Uh, some people may be prone to things like negative effects from too much estrogen and or things like gynecomastia as well, which this can be a, uh, plausible. You know, I wouldn't say uh, things like finasteride is very... You know, they're not backed much with research to show that finasteride may cause something like gynecomastia. Uh, but dutasteride, on the other hand, you know, there's an argument to be made, you know, here and there. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'd definitely just recommend blood work to get an estradiol panel to see, like, what is your testosterone to con uh, estrogen conversion. And just getting blood work is uh, very important, even if before you start finasteride and before you start dutasteride. Uh, here. So obviously some people may have negative side effects from different 5AR five, 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 five inhibitors here. Um, so, you know, I would just be precautious and get your blood work done and, you know, not everyone responds the same to, you know, 5AR inhibitors. So, yes. Something I'd like to add to as well is the use of anabolic steroids. So, for example, DHT derivatives, uh, there's like the testosterone derivatives and the 19 nor testosterone derivatives, but then there's the DHT derivatives here. And uh, something, for example, would be like Winstrol or Anavar, Mastron, all that stuff. Um, obviously, they are anabolic steroids. They are syn synthetic agents here, uh, and they are made to uh, stop uh, muscle wasting diseases and are put on muscle on the frame. So obviously, uh, yes, DHT derivatives are going to put muscle on your frame, on your body. And so, yes, that is a, you know, an example here. And any super physiological dose of like testosterone uh, is going to equal a super physiological uh, amount of dihydrotestosterone uh, as well because it is above the norm here. So obviously that is a different story here when it comes to muscle building, uh, you know. So, but our natural levels here that are like bound up by sex hormone binding globulin is, yes, it's different here. And, uh, you know, any of our natural levels are not going to affect our um, physiques and that uh, standpoint here. So anyways, uh, that was just something I wanted to add as well. So that was just kind of like my topic of discussion here today. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and or if I got anything wrong and or you want to add, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below to let me know. And uh, yeah, it is greatly appreciated. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.